Hi, I'm Trey Tackett, and today we're going to go through some of the process for um, screening at home for serology of COVID-19. It's for IgG and IgM. Uh, here's the test kit. It's a pretty simple um, test to perform at home. One thing you'll want to do whenever you get out your test kit is uh, just kind of identify everything you're going to need as you get started so you're not kind of scrambling after you poke your finger. So you're going to have two separate test kits there. You'll have an instruction packet here. Um, this one comes with the test kit itself and you'll have step-by-step -step directions on how to collect and the time frames you need to use um, for each of the steps. So we'll kind of walk you through this. There's no need to look at it closely right now. You'll have an alcohol swab, a lancet. You'll use that to prick your finger. We have two of these, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, little plastic tubes here. You'll use that to draw the blood up off of the finger stick and put it into the test kit. We'll go over that in detail in just a second. And then you have a little dropper, which contains the buffer to develop the test. So let's go ahead and open each of these. You'll be able to see this one has IgM, so the IgM antibody. And this one has IgG. I'm gonna try and do this upside down so you can see a little easier what's going on here. I'll go ahead and have my bottle open there of the buffer. You'll have your Lancet device. To get this ready, there's a little tab here you need to take off. Just twist and pull. And then select which finger you're gonna have be the victim. And the way I like to do this is to use the two fingers beside my middle finger to kind of pinch and then use my thumb to press. So the pad of my fingers um, kind of push forward there. I'll clean it with the alcohol swab. You're gonna to wanna to let that dry. And once it's dry, take the lancet, hold it to your finger and you're gonna press the button. Sometimes if you dab it, you'll get a little pool of blood. Take the plastic tube, put it over the blood, and then draw it in. You can see a little black line. You're gonna to wanna to get enough blood to fill up to that point. And then you're gonna put it where the S is here for the sample. And you can use a separate one for this other test kit here. If you get a large enough little pool of blood on your finger, you can probably get it in one pool there. Alright, got it to the black line and then we're going to put it in the sample portion again. And now you're going to apply the buffer. You need three drops on each kit. So one, two, three, one, two, and three. Now you're gonna be waiting. Um, this instruction paper here has the times you're waiting for each. So 10 to 15 minutes, you can set a timer on your watch or your phone here. You're gonna to wanna to look for the control line to make sure that the test is, wor is working. And then if the test is positive, you'll have a line at G or at M. In order to 
um, convey these results to us, you're gonna have a paper in your packet that will have a number to text. Um, you will send a picture of the results after 15 minutes to that number with your name and date of birth. Um, this demographic information will be used for reporting purposes only and so that we can log your results. Um, the instruction packet that comes from Wild Health with this test will have all those details on it, so please refer to that if you have any questions.